Extra Mile Weight Loss has a commitment to help all who desire it <clears throat> to reach a long and prosperous life through the better understanding of health and nutrition. To achieve successful weight loss, you must change the way you eat, the way you do things, and the way you think. Welcome to Extra Mile Online Learning. I'm Peter Kenyon, and I'm a weight loss educator, which means I teach people the skills they need to eat well, lose weight, by changing one aspect of their diet and lifestyle at a time. To achieve successful weight loss, you must change the way you eat, the way you do things, and the way you think. You can join a gym, and they'll help you change the way you do things, but they won't necessarily help you to change the way you eat, and they definitely won't help change the way you think. You can join a weight loss club, and they will help you to change the way you eat, but they won't necessarily help change the way you do things and they won't necessarily help you change the way you think. This online program is designed to help to change the way you think because this is the first and most important step in changing the way you eat and the way you do things. If you don't change the way you think, you won't get the results you want. Welcome to your 110 Steps of Weight Loss Workshop. This is week eight, and today we're talking about exercise and your weight loss. Ah, I can hear you saying exercise. Well, it's taken me, taken us eight weeks to get to this point where we're talking about the way you do things. As much as you would like to try to do it otherwise, it is difficult to achieve, to achieve successful weight loss without the introduction of exercise into your lifestyle. But before we go much further, let's look at a recap of week seven. Now, last week's task, you were to decrease the sugar in your coffee decrease the sugar in your tea, and decrease the amount of sugar used in breakfast cereals. The overall goal, though, was to decrease the amount or to eliminate sugar from being into your, in your pantry. If you can eliminate it in your pantry, then you can probably eliminate it in your other parts of your lifestyle or tolerate little amounts of it as you have them in small amounts of treats. Instead of having biscuits in your house all the time, you can actually go out, meet a friend at a coffee shop, have a, a small uh, black coffee or a small coffee with a small treat of a, of a biscuit. That was last week. This week, we're talking about exercise. And the first question you're probably going to ask is, why should you exercise? Why should I exercise? Well, because to lose weight, there are only two things you can do. You can decrease calories coming into your body by manipulating your diet or you can increase calories going out of your body by using more energy or just simply doing more. Now to decrease calories coming in by manipulating your diet, you can manipulate your diet by meal replacement supplements, meal replacement drinks. Now a lot of people are still poo-pooing this in the 21st century. Some people are still poo-pooing the use of meal replacement drinks. Meal replacement drinks in this day and age serve a purpose of helping to disrupt established habits that have brought about weight gain. Now, we talked about this earlier in the program. We won't go over it here. Now, the next thing is prepared and packaged meals is another way of manipulating your diet. And that is that you have your, like frozen meals or, or meals already at home, ready to heat and eat for those nights or days or meals where you just can't be bothered cooking for yourself. Okay, it'll, it'll help to disrupt that habit of coming home and going, oh, geez, I think, I'm, I think I'll just order a pizza. Well, it helps to disrupt that habit because if you've got something, a healthier choice that's in your freezer, you'll turn, you can turn to that. Diet plans is another way to manipulate your diet. Now, diet plans is, a new, is learning a new way of eating. And serving or serve kilojoules and calorie counting is another way to go. Increasing calories going out is about doing more. So we're focusing on this activity and exercise. What? Well, there's a difference. You don't know the difference between activity and exercise? Well, let's have a look. Activity is not exercise. Activity is doing the simpler things harder. Activity is the way you do things every day. So if you're in a shopping center, how many of you take the escalator when the stairs are right beside you? You burn no calories taking the escalator and you burn calories taking the stairs. Activity is doing the simpler things harder. Activity is washing up by hand instead of using the dishwasher. Activity is mowing your own lawn instead of 
paying somebody to do it for you. Exercise, on the other hand, is a specific set of movements that's designed to improve health, increase fitness, correct imbalances, add muscle, and make your heart rate increase. Exercise is different to activity. If you are a person who's starting to lose weight or wishes to lose weight and has never exercised, then I suggest that you look at your lifestyle to see how you can increase your activity first. Increasing activity burns calories. When you've done that, you can introduce exercise into your lifestyle. We'll talk about that. How often should you exercise? Well, let's look at the basics. You should exercise 30 minutes three times a week to maintain your present level of health. If you're not doing this bare minimum of 30 minutes three times a week, you are not maintaining your health. You're in a slow health decline. You should exercise 30 minutes every day to improve your health and introduce fitness. And you should do 30 to 60 minutes every day to improve on fitness. This is just a general guideline. How should you exercise for weight loss? Because that is your goal, isn't it? Exercise with two goals in mind. You want to burn kilojoules and you want to preserve or improve your muscle. Nothing burns kilojoules like using the big muscles of the body. And here we're talking about the leg muscles and your glutes. Yeah, believe it or not, your butt muscles do a lot of exercise when you walk. So walking, that's why walking is such a great exercise. It uses the big muscles, the glute heels, and your muscles of your leg. But you must also preserve the muscles of the upper body. How do you preserve the muscles of the upper body? Well, you can do one of two things. You could either join a gym, or you can buy equipment and work out at home. But that does cost money, doesn't it? So how do you preserve the upper body muscles and save money? You could in, think about investing in resistance cords and exercise bands. Now, these are marvelous pieces of equipment that can you can do most of the exercises that you could do in a gym with a simple exercise cord or band like this. And you can do it by just standing up and exercising or sitting down if you're not one who is physically able to exercise. So there's no excuse to say, I can't stand and exercise because there are ways you can exercise and you can do it outdoors with friends. To do this, you can look at that Extra Miles Life Fit Exercise Program, which is available on the website. You can find that there's a simple set of exercises which takes about 12 minutes. And resistance band exercises, the Life Fit exercises will work your biceps, back, chest, triceps, core, and shoulders. Why should you exercise? Well, you exercise to promote fat loss, to preserve muscle, to increase basal metabolic rate, and basically just to feel good. This week's task is to introduce walking into your lifestyle. If you've never walked before, go for three 10-minute walks this week. If you do, and once you get used to that, do three 20-minute walks, and then three 30-minute walks. If you're used to walking 30 minutes three times a week, then do it 30 minutes every day. If you're used to doing 30 minutes every day, then go 60 minutes every day because you need to exercise about seven hours a week to promote weight loss. Thank you for attending. That's the Extra Miles 110 Steps Weight Loss Workshop for this week on exercise.